Reese Witherspoon's active acting years in Hollywood have been over, yet she remains one of the most bankable celebrities thanks to her side ventures, which include a media company as well. Hello there everyone, and welcome back to her channel. What happened to Reese Witherspoon's production company? Well, we're about to tell you right now. Reese Witherspoon's production company sold. Hello Sunshine is the production company started by the legally blonde star Reese Witherspoon. The company has been producing content for big streaming platforms like HBO, Hulu, and Apple among many others. After working with renowned services for a long time, the media company was sold to a new media firm in August of 2021. The firm it has been sold to is run by former Disney execs Kevin Mayer and Tom Staggs. It was reportedly announced that Reese Witherspoon sold a majority stock in her production company Hello Sunshine to a Blackstone-backed media company. Without revealing the official terms of the deal, the reports continued, the sale values Hello Sunshine's business at around $900 million and that Hello Sunshine was exploring a sale after receiving interest from several suitors, including Apple. This deal is part of a plan to build an independent entertainment company for Hollywood streaming era. What else do we know about this deal? We'll tell you right now in this video. But before we do that, do be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell to get more video updates like this. Now let's continue. According to Hello Sunshine's official announcement, the company will be the first acquisition by the new media venture run by Mayor and Stacks, which is backed by private equity firm Blackstone. The firm is spending more than $500 million in cash to purchase shares of Hello Sunshine from its investors, including AT&T and Emerson Collective, revealed in the Wall Street Journal. Moreover, after the deal, the legally blonde actress still owns about 18% stake in the business and will continue to run Hello Sunshine's day-to-day -day operations along with the management team. As per the sources, Witherspoon and Hello Sunshine chief executive Sarah Harden will join the board of the new company and retain significant equity holders in the new business. The name of the new board hasn't been revealed yet. Furthermore, Mayor and Stack said in a statement, Our platform will foster a uniquely creator-friendly culture that gives elite talent the resources they need to create and capitalize on their best, most inventive work. We look forward to backing Reese, Sarah and their world-class team as they continue to produce and identify dynamic, engaging content for years to come. Talking about the sale of her company, Reese said, This is a meaningful move in the world because it really means that women's stories matter and that's exactly the very idea on which the company was founded. Why did Reese Witherspoon find Hello Sunshine? It was in 2016 when Witherspoon co-founded Hello Sunshine with Seth Rotsky the Strand Equity founder. Witherspoon wanted to tell women-driven stories and wanted to give them the major spotlight. The website of the company reads, Founded by Reese Witherspoon, Hello Sunshine is a media company that puts women at the center of every story we create, celebrate, and discover. We tell stories we love, from big to small, funny to complex, all shining a light on where women are now and helping them chart a new path forward. For that reason, the media company produced big hits like HBO's Big Little Lies, Hulu's Little Fires Everywhere, and Apple's The Morning Show. She starred in The Morning Show and reportedly earned $20 million from just 10 episodes of the show. Other than this, the company has also invested in other projects. With other streaming services, the company expanded its portfolio when it announced its collaboration with Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, ABC, and Stars. Reese's Book Club other than producing high-quality content, the company also runs an online book club called Reese's Book Club. The app boasts millions of followers. The best part about the book club is that every popular pick gets turned into shows or movies by the company later. As per Hello Sunshine, our stories are shared and experienced with our community through film, television, audio, our website and newsletter, social and digital channels, Reese's Book Club, and in real life. Now what after the deal? After the closure of the deal, it was revealed that Hello Sunshine will hopefully become the foundation of the new company's progressing strategy, which includes being an independent, creator-friendly home for cutting-edge, high-quality, category-defining brands and franchises. Talking about the deal, Witherspoon said in a statement that it marks a tremendous moment for Hello Sunshine. 
I started this company to change the way all women are seen in the media. Over the past few years, we've watched our mission thrive through books, TV, film, and social platforms. Today, we're taking a huge step forward by partnering with Blackstone, which will enable us to tell even more entertaining, impactful, and illuminating stories about women's lives globally. I couldn't be more excited about what this means for our future. The actress cried after selling her company. Even though the decision was made for the betterment of the company, the actress revealed that it wasn't easy. It was two, maybe three months of negotiations on the phone all day. Calls at one o'clock in the morning. I didn't know a lot about private equity. I never sold a company in my life. I learned so much. The actress said the company was like her baby, so the goodbye was very bittersweet. The 46-year-old recalled, I cried, I cried, and I thought about my grandma, and I cried more. I thought about all of the women who haven't gotten these opportunities, and I just feel really lucky that I'm standing on a path that other women created for me. She was resolved to smash the stereotypes surrounding women's stories, she said. I was really clear about what women's stories mean in a marketplace, so it had to be a number that signified that it's big business because women are big business. Female audiences are big businesses. Female filmmakers are big business. You can't ignore half of the population of the world and say that they don't economically matter. They do. And she did what she believed in. That's all for today. Until next time, take care and goodbye.